I'm Ian Bernstein, and I'm one of the co-founders and CTO of Sphero. So, Ian, what are you guys showing here at CES this year? Um, so, we're showing our product Sphero, which is a robot ball. It connects over Bluetooth to your smartphone. We have about 35 different apps for it. Um, and then we have our second product, Ollie, uh, which is our new product that came out in October of 2014. Um, that one's more about tricks and speed. It goes 14 miles an hour. You can hit a little ramp and about, you can get like five feet air off it. Really fun. What's it been like seeing robotics technology come to the consumer over the last five years? It's actually been really cool. I mean, there's been a lot of technologies like, you know, when we started the company five years ago, it was really like, you couldn't have made Sphero like a year before. It was like the smartphones, like the iPhones and the Android phones that use these um, MEM sensors, accelerometers and gyros and temperature sensors, stuff like that. Like, it made our product possible. Like, you know, a year, two years before we started the company, those sensors would have been far too expensive. But they're making like, you know, hundreds of millions of them for these things um, that make these robots possible. So it's cool to see the new technologies that are enabling like smartphones and some of these higher volume things. Um, that's, that's making its way into robotics and making you know our products possible and make, we can make them really cool. What was the key to getting Spiro to a consumer affordable level? Um, a lot of it was the sensors actually. Um, a lot, yeah, a lot of it was the sensors inside Spiro and, and obviously like you couldn't like make a Spiro that was remote control really with like a traditional remote control. Um, because Sphero doesn't have a front, like you also have to use the sensors in this. Um, it just like wouldn't be stable. It, the ball would wobble all over the place. So I guess being able to use the smartphone, use the sensors in here, the, the nice display, um, that enabled a lot for us. You know, using, using this as the brain, right? So we don't have to put, you know, $200 worth of electronics in this. So Sphero's a little robot. Um, Basically, you can drive him around. So the first thing you do is you aim him. So you put your finger on this icon, go in a circle until this little blue light on the ball um, points towards you. And then Sphero knows where you are. So now I can use this joystick to control Sphero. Depending on what, what direction I push the joystick, is the direction the Sphero moves. So I can drive around and you know take in water. It's waterproof. Um, you know, go over jumps, play with my you know pets. Or I can go on missions. So Sphero actually came from this planet, Spheron. <laughs> and um, he came into Earth. And the first thing you do is you name him. So this one has a really boring name, but you can name him whatever you want. And then you can help him along his, along his way by going on these missions. So I can hit the mission button. Um, I can select all these different missions that I want to do. And that'll take me through. A, it'll tell me what my mission is. You can unlock different tricks for Sphero. Um, so over here, um, so these missions you get cores, and with these cores, you can buy different things. So I can buy all these different tricks, like a, a rainbow trick is like pretty basic. Um, you can do different dances, he'll play the music, he'll do like, um, he'll do uh, salsa dances and stuff like that. So you can change the colors, Trio, whatever color you want. In this particular app, like, I'm setting the color, but we have a bunch of different games for Sphero. So some of them, um, some of them you can pick what color you want Sphero to be, and others, um, the color of Sphero actually um, is part of the gameplay. So for instance, we have a game of tag, um, the sort of like red light, green light, where you go around. If you're green, you can move. If you're red, you can't move. So that um, that uses the color as part of the game, um, and also like when you're playing red light, green light, we can detect collisions for the ball. So if other balls crash into you, we can de uh, detect that collision. Now, does this work on Android and iOS? Yes. Also, um, Windows Phone. We have a bunch of different apps for Sero as well. So that was the main app. Um, these are some of the other ones. We have Augmented Reality. We have um, some games where you actually hold Sphero in your hand. You, just, you tilt it. Um, it's like controlling stuff on your phone. We have um, education. So if you want to learn to program, you can actually use Sphero. So the, the neat thing is it's so easy. So you connect over Bluetooth like you would like a headset. Um, I can show you like this is our little programming app. So I can write a program right now. Hit plus. It's like what do I, what, what do I want to name my program? 
we'll just name it letters. Um, a plus, say we want for it to roll. Well, what speed? Zero to 100 percent. We'll go half speed. What angle? Zero to 360 degrees. We'll just go. At, we'll go at 12 degrees for one second. Create. Hit play. Now Sphero just rolled forward for one second at 12 degrees. So the so basically you're saying is you can customize like its own patterns and stuff and make like riding in the carpet if you wanted. Yeah, you can go through mazes. You can like you can synchronize this to songs. <laughs> and actually on Android you can control seven Spheros at once. So you can have these big synchronized dances and stuff to different songs. 